Umbrellas and galoshes protect you from the rain, snow, and hail, but what about the rain of spiders, comrades, and mysterious raw meat? It turns out that sooner or later people surprised everyone by falling from the sky. While some unusual precipitation can easily be attributed to atmospheric forces, others have remained unsolved meteorological mysteries for hundreds of years. Join us now as we take a look at some of the strangest weather events to ever happen on the planet and see what science can fix. Before we start our video, do us a little favor. Like our video and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon and get notified of new videos. Let's start this video from the number 10. Fish rain in Sri Lanka. Residents of Western Sri Lanka said they were surprised and delighted by the unusual shower of small fish. The edible fish fell during the storm and was reportedly lifted out of the river by strong winds. Residents of the Chilor district said they heard something heavy fall and found several dozen fish weighing 50 kilograms. This is not the first such incident in Sri Lanka. In 2012, a case of shrimp rain was recorded in the south. Scientists say fish rain usually occurs when eddies in relatively shallow water turn into trumpets and suck almost everything into the water. Marine life can travel long distances shaking clouds even when the water tornado stops spinning. Villagers say there was a shower of fish on Monday when the creatures fell onto the village's greenery, streets and roofs. Some of the fish, three to five inches long, were still alive and were placed in a bucket of water by the villagers, who later ate them. This is the third time this has happened in Sri Lanka, but not in the same region. Number 9. Meat. What causes pieces of flesh to fall from the sky? This matter conquered America in 1876, when, for several minutes, a field in Bath County, Kentucky, fell in a steady rain of what looked like beef flakes. According to a Scientific American report, the two gentlemen who tried the staggering celestial beef couldn't agree that it was actually lamb or deer. The third man showed that he was indeed a bear. One analyst concluded that it is not meat at all, but a kind of cyanobacteria that turns into a meaty jelly in the rain. At the time, Mrs. Crouch, a farmer, was making soap on her porch when she reported seeing pieces of meat falling from the sky. He said he was 40 paces from his home when the flesh started hitting the ground. According to Miss Crouch, the meat looked squeaky. Miss Crouch and her husband believed this event was a sign from God. Number 8. Spider Rain. Millions of tiny spiders fell from the sky in Australia in 2015, and this was not the first time. This phenomenon, known as spider rain or angel hair, occurs when large groups of spiders simultaneously exhibit behavior called swelling. When they swell, the spiders climb high ground, lift their butts into the air and release silk, and then fly up. Rick Vetter, a retired arachnologist, told Live Science at the time, from the University of California at Riverside. This is happening around us all the time. We just don't notice it. Number 7. Russian Gold. In March 2018 it rained in Siberia for several glorious minutes when an old transport plane carrying around $378 million in gold, platinum, and diamonds accidentally knocked over its cargo on takeoff from the airport Yakutsk. The plane's cargo door tore apart during takeoff, leaving about 200 solid gold bricks on the runway and nearby snow, airport officials said. Unfortunately for the treasure hunters, the police say they have returned all the spoiled loot. Number 6. Frozen Iguanas. The National Weather Service of Florida in America warns that frozen iguanas should fall from trees when temperatures drop. Yes. Iguanas can freeze when temperatures drop to 4 degrees Celsius. These cold-blooded creatures draw their energy from the heat of the sun. But they slow down when the temperature drops, eventually they calm down and lose control of the trees they live on, which means they fall. But don't worry, they're not dead. The iguanas will eventually thaw out and start moving again. The NWS posted a message on Twitter to let the public know that they could see the iguanas fall. They can be dangerous if they fall from trees onto cars or even people. Remember they are not all small creatures, an adult male iguana can grow up to 5 feet in length. 
But people in Florida aren't too worried, as is often the case in winter. The reason lizards have such a hard time in the winter is because their bodies aren't adapted to it. Florida is generally very hot and iguanas are cold-blooded, which means that their body temperature depends on the outside temperature. The blood in their body becomes colder when it gets cold, they become lethargic at first, and when the temperature drops they freeze. Iguanas continue to breathe and their basic bodily functions continue to function, the way their body protects them until the temperature rises. But if the cold persists for long, the frozen iguana may eventually die. Number 5. Frog Rain. Trumpets of water may also be the source of the direct biblical phenomenon of rain of frogs. Tiny toads have fallen out of the sky since at least 1873 when a Scientific American article reported that after a thunderstorm in Kansas City, Missouri, the air darkened and covered the earth for a long distance. The phenomenon of frogs falling from the sky is as real as it is strange. Throughout history, there have been cases of hurricanes that sucked frogs as they crossed lakes and ponds and left them elsewhere, often miles away. There have been several reports of rain with frogs in the UK, the latest in Croydon, South London in 1998 when a first downpour was accompanied by hundreds of dead frogs. Number 4. Blood Rain. Blood rain or red rain is a phenomenon in which blood falls from the sky like rain. These incidents were recorded in Homer's Iliad, compiled around the 8th century BC, and are widespread. Until the 17th century, it was generally believed that rain was blood. The literature reflects a cult practice in which the appearance of a shower of blood was considered a bad omen. It was used as a tool for announcing events, but while some of them may be literary means, some events are historical. Today there is a scientific consensus that the bloodshed phenomenon is caused by air spores of the green microalga Trentipolia annulata. The reported incidents of bloodshed usually cover small areas. The duration can be different, sometimes it does not last long, sometimes it lasts several days. Number 3. Golf Balls. According to a local bulletin, dozens, Dozens and dozens of golf balls were strewn on the streets of Punta Gorda, Florida after a heavy rainstorm in 1969. There is heavy rain in the Punta Gorda area, but when the clouds clear, not only water but also golf balls flow down the gutters. A team of at least four cops started collecting the balls and apparently managed a decent loot before they tired and gave up. The St. Petersburg Times reported that dozens, dozens and dozens of golf balls fell from the sky, although no explanation was given. The area is also home to many golf courses, so the logical explanation might be that a passing storm sipped a pond filled with balls and then loosened its grip on the city. They never revealed the secret. Surveys of local golf courses seem to have shown that no one was short of balls. Number 2. Boiled Bats. More than 200 bats have died from the ongoing heat wave in South Australia. When temperatures soared to 111.5 degrees Fahrenheit in Campbelltown, Australia's New South Wales, a bat colony that lived near the city's train station sensed it. According to the Campbelltown MacArthur announcer, volunteers struggled to save the heat-stricken bats, but at least 204 individual animals, mostly newborns, have died. They're basically boiling. Keith Ryan, head of the Campbelltown Bat Colony, told the newspaper. It affects their brains, their brains are simply fried and become inconsistent. Rescuers helped save Campbelltown's wildlife, and the Bushlands posted details of the dire situation on its Facebook page. Number 1. Various Space Stations. It's exhausting work orbiting the Earth at 17,500 miles per hour. Satellites are generally pretty good about taking this speed in stride but, sometimes, they lose steam and fall. At press time, for example, China's Tiangong-1 satellite a 9.4-ton prototype space station is tumbling inexorably toward Earth, expected to break apart in the planet's atmosphere in the next few weeks. It will not be the first, over the past 50 years, more than 5,900 tons of space debris have survived re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Luckily, your odds of being hit by such debris are about a million times smaller than your odds of winning the Powerball jackpot, so play on. This the end of our video. 
Just share your view in the comment box and like and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming amazing videos. You can watch more videos on our channel here.